I'm very happy to be here today. And I already to have a lot of information after all day, after all great speakers. Do you have some space in your head? Right? Okay, it's great. And um, thank you for opportunity to be here. I spent a great weekend near, oh, whoa, uh, near the beautiful lake in Stockholm. And I found that the most beautiful autumn which I have ever seen is in Stockholm. Thank you, so for, thank you for that. And thank your Agile uh, people team for this conference. It, 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 it is so interesting, a lot of interesting conversation, and we inspire it to each other. And I believe that each of you could stay on this stage because you have your personal strong stories. And today I'm going to tell you about Agile in sales. I'm going to share my experience uh, about that and why I believe that Agile in sales is a competitive advantage. Why Agile uh, helped to triple your sales? And I will tell you about new Sway system. A couple words about me. I have experienced more than 10 years in sales. I worked as a head of sales department in big financial uh, companies. And last five years, I helped different companies around the world with agile transformation. Now I help, I work with about 12 different countries with different cultures, with different mentalities. And I am mother about 10 years. And I am from sales world. In sales world, we love numbers. We love to, sh to it, this is our brain. We think by numbers. That's why I put a lot of numbers for you in this uh, slide. And um, do you have, uh, who is from sales in our room? Do you have some people from sales? One, please stand up. Two, three, C could you stand up? I just, sometimes it's just one and it's me, but you see, we have a lot of people. Thank you, thank you for your coming. Um, last two years, we're speaking, uh, we're talking about business agility. Do you know who, uh, do you know uh, business agility domains? Uh, and uh, if you're not, please find this information in the uh, internet. It's very interesting. It's about how to change organizations. And uh, this is to, um, domains and which we need to change to be agile organization. And in the middle of domains, we have a customer. We change process, we change culture, structure of company, because we need to create value for our customers. We need to create value for our customers faster than our competitive. And that's why we came, we come to this conference to speak with each other, to inspire to each other. But in the middle, we have customer. That's why we change our businesses, right? And when I uh, attend such conference, I always ask, do you what about your sales? Did you start your agile transformation? What about your sales? And let's have some experiment. Please stand up who start agile transformation in whole organization, in any departments. Who start? Okay. If you start this, we have a lot of people, all right? Thank you. Sit down, please. Thank you. And the next question. Who start Agile transformation in your sales? Hero one, hero two, three, four, five. Five people. You try. You will. I promise you will. Yes, you will. Don't worry. And it's interesting. We're talking about customers, but sales departments almost last department which we try to involve in Agile transformation. And it's interesting why. And I believe that Agile mindset is for each person in our company. It's for founder of our co uh, company. It's for person who clean every day our office. All people should think as an agile uh, mindset, say, right? And okay. And how? And always people ask me, Marina, how to change them? They th think only about money. They think only about their purpose. They don't like to attend different um, retrospective or retrospectives or something how to create such uh, teams like in, in other pictures in Zappos do you know company Zappos yes yeah, it's, and it's interesting and I hope during this talk I will share my experience how to do it 
And the first step, and maybe first small advice, just tell your sales that Agile, it's not just for IT. Because six years ago, when I start apply Agile in sales, all Agile um, great consultancy told me, like, Marina, it's just for software. It's just for IT. It's not for sales. You shouldn't do it. And when I speak with sales and say, like, do you know that last 10 years your company started Agile transformation in software? Yes, but it's Agile. It's just for IT departments. Why, why are you talking with us? We're sales. And the first thing, just tell them that this is mindset. This is way how, you will, uh, how you're thinking. And um, uh, salespeople, they think by numbers. And if you want to involve them in Agile transformation, just tell them, hi, I was in uh, Ag uh, an Agile people conference, and I knew that Agile helped you triple your sales. And maybe they will th uh, listen to you after that. But if you come and say, look, Agile mindsets, it's very good for you. Let's do it with us. I'm not sure that they will have, they will pay attention for that. And this is, it's about language with people and salespeople. They really think differently. And I will tell you some story how we apply agile in sales. As a, it, it will be one case study, but I apply agile in different areas: in healthcare, in hospitality, in brokers. Do you know who they are? Brokers. They start Agile Transformation. And we just start. That's why I won't tell you uh, about that. Maybe next uh, year I will tell you. But uh, this case study for which I will tell you all journey how we change mindset of salespeople, it's about um, one company where Agile help triple their sales targets, where Agile help apply more than 1,500 in innovations in whole organization. And this case study about how they created competitive advantage in this company. And this company, it's about 20 uh, years old company. They produced and sell ceramic tiles and about uh, 1,300 people inside. And you see revenue of this company. and. One day, they decided that they had some problems. And they decided, OK, what we have, their sales targets in whole organization were less than 33%. They found that sales department didn't collaborate with in other departments. Like, you know, sometimes sales people, I really love sales. I am from sales world. But sometimes they think that they are like a kink. And in other departments, it's like something not equal. This is sales, and this is uh, HR or logistic or uh, IT department. Do you know? Do do you have the same situation or not? A little, right? I, you are lucky if you you don't. But in this story, they didn't have passion to change something, and salespeople they uh, they just told like, this is market, it's not ours. This is I don't know product, bad product. Price, very high price, no. But they, they didn't have passion to change something. It was classic department that you saw in a video several minutes ago. And the founder of this company f one day found this book. Did you read, who read, uh, read this book? Did you, read, did you, yeah. This book about Scrum, but in non-IT language. And if you decided to inspire your sales department or executives to start apply new tools, just give them this book. It's very easy in very easy language. Anyway, their business owner of the, this company found this book and decided, yes, we need to apply Scrum in our sales and we will be successful. And he found, me, found it to me and say, like, Marina, you're expert in sales. Please help us. OK. We adapt Scrum because Scrum is a great framework if you have a product. We adapt Scrum. We create one team. We start from pilot team, just one team. Because um, all changes start 
should, I think, it's my experience, should start from one pilot team. We need our success story in our company. Do you remember numbers? Our executives, our sales, they need numbers. We need grow numbers in our uh, company, not in Google or Facebook. That's why we usually start from one team and start uh, like a pilot team and explain, guys, we are going to apply Agile, this is pilot team, and we will see how it's going. And all company just looking how it's going. And it's, it will be successful, they will um, apply it and ask to change them, them, right? Okay, anyway, imagine one pilot sales team uh, and three roles. We have business owner, like a product owner, a person with vision. We had coach inside, not head of sales, coach who inspire people, who facilitate uh, different um, uh, meetings, who uh, as a coach for uh, this team. And we had a team for sales who always worked like uh, independently to be as a team is really something new. That's why we had three roles. We had one week sprint. In the, uh, in the beginning of the week, we had planning session. We had sales backlog. I will show you later how it looks like. Every day they had uh, daily 15 minutes demo when they demonstrated results and retrospective each week. And they had a scrum board with sticky, uh, uh, with sticky notes. And this is, uh, and after that, it was several years ago, uh, we created a system, it, we call it Sway, that's why this beautiful song which I asked was about Sway, Sales with Agile. And we adapt Scrum and created this system for sales, and we have, we have, this is our backlog. And look, in Classic sales, they focus just numbers. Numbers, how many, uh, how much money did you, work, uh, did you earn? How, ma how many uh, meetings did you have? And uh, how many calls did you have? Just numbers. In agile sales, they should be with grow mindset, as Alice told, right? They should think differently. They should think about um, value proposition. When I ask, in China, in Russia, in the United States, I asked, I asked uh, salespeople, tell me please about your value proposition. And they, what? What is it? Or, okay, guys, how are you going to improve your, your, your team next three months? And they, Marina, we don't, we don't need to improve. We're best sales in our company. Guys, you need to improve yourself. Sorry, it's uh, our world. But anyway, and innovations. Um, they need innovations. And we create this canvas for each, uh, each three months, we create this canvas, and, they, and this is our backlog for sales teams. And they put tasks from this uh, backlog and put in their sway board uh, in sticky notes. Okay, and the main difference between Scrum and Sway, in Scrum you have a backlog because you, you have a product. In Sway we have business goals for three months which focus for creating value for our customers. And I believe that we, uh, that we need every day our company should think about what kind of value we should create for our customers. And money will be a feedback from our customers. Do we uh, do uh, what about? Uh, do th are they happy about our product or our service or not? Money now it's feedback, but value for customers is the first thing. In classic sales, money is the first thing. Just sell, uh, take money, take your uh, bonus. Forget about your customers, and this is main difference. Okay, imagine company, like we are as uh, one company, uh, this company, and we apply Agile in pilot team, for example, and they had 43% in the beginning, and Agile came to their life, and I teach them everything, they, they had a great workshop, everything was fine, but after a couple, uh, couple weeks, we had a problem, our sales went down, almost 40% uh, uh, from 20%. Uh, and business owner of, of this company was shocked. Like, Marina, we invited to you and some problems I've, I see uh, what's happened. 
or uh, sales pe people, they like, Marina, uh, Agile doesn't work. We, we tried, we put sticky notes every day. We had daily stand-ups, everything. It, Agile doesn't work, it's not for sales. And we had a retrospective and I explained, guys, um, Agile, it's not magic pillow. It's not tool, it's changes which you should start from yourself from yourself and this is our personal changes this is new mindset for sales people it's not tool which you, you you could put sticky notes every day and you wouldn't have result you should think differently and we had a lot of problems they didn't want and they really didn't see the reason to work as a team because before each of them had their own clients own goals, and for, it, it was really difficult to create a really team for, for, uh, with them. The second thing, it's trust of executives, of managers, because sales, it's money. And executives, they afraid to have mistakes in this area. That's why they control every steps of our sales teams, and it's like managers, um, uh, micromanagement. They came uh, to our stand-ups like, I'm just standing, I'm just standing. And what exactly you are going to do? But, uh, sorry, we are going to uh, create a self-organizing team in sales. Yeah, yeah, sure, I understand. I just want to ask what exactly he's going to do today. And this is about trust, it's about freedom, for salespeople, and uh, we had very big control for each steps for this team. The second thing, it's new mindset when they should think about value for customers. Because look, in classic sales, we a, cl a, per a salesperson talk a lot, speak a lot about product, about service. In agile sales, they need to ask, not talk, ask what uh, we should improve. Are you happy with our product? W give, me, give us please feedback. What we should improve? And this is asking, it's not selling. It's another mindset. And they call me at night and ask like, Marina, I'm going to sell. Why I should ask? I should sell. I should push my client. I should take my money. I am a great salesperson. Now you're going, uh, now you told me like, I should uh, ask something. What is it? And it's new mindset. And the second thing, it's collaboration with them um, in other departments, especially with the marketing. Sometimes, I, I'm sure it's not in Sweden, in, in other countries, but sometimes between sales and marketing, it's like war. And sometimes between sales and software departments, misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, it is. And they don't want even try to start communicate with other departments. And we had a lot of problems, really. And But day by day, with common goal, with coaching, with um, um, it was one pilot team. And we wanted to show that they could. And they had a, a, a common goal. They start self-organizing. And they had another passion, another energy in this team. And in other teams, they just, what's happened with them? Why they are so happy? And from 43%, during 12 months, we achieve 127. And when we had this success story in, one, in our companies, company, in other de sales departments, start came and asked, like, we want to do the same. How, it's, how do you call it? Agile? We want to be agile too. And they, uh, it, it was easy to involve them after that because they had success story. And the next step was to show these numbers to executives and say, would you like to try Agile? And they see just numbers and they told her, yes. And then we start change mindset of them. We created a self-organizing team in executive level. Uh, it was vice president of HR, vice president of sales, vice president of logistics, and this is another story. But anyway, uh, they earn extra money for company, and it's really big money for this company. And 
you know, interesting, one thing it's interesting, that it was the same people. It was the same budget. It was the same company. They tripled their sales. And I think they just, they had another mindset, another way of thinking, another way of communication with another departments, another way of communication with the customers. And each week, each team had retrospective. In our retrospective, they, every time they created list of ideas of goals which they should improve next sprint and they in this is it was their ideas it was their innovations that's why they had passion to apply it in business that's why i count uh, one team create uh, applied more than 300 innovations in the organization in this case we had five teams and that's why during one year we we counted we applied they applied more than 1500 innovations what kind of innovations it was some of them it was big and expensive like new crm system but another one was like okay let's collaborate with it people let's play uh, in f uh, with football with them this is small innovation right but they start as a friends because twice ti time uh, per week they played football together, sales and software people. And they had a lot of different ideas. And in classic uh, business, all ideas from executive, like from here to here. In agile, all ideas from here to here. And they have passion to achieve it because it's their ideas, it's not executive's ideas. And that's why they change, usually agile, uh, in sales, they start um, make business run better because they start change all process. In logistics, for example, in this case, they change a uh, provider of logistics because they found that they had a bad uh, provider and they invited on demo executives and tell about that and change providers. And it was sales idea, but it, this idea was from uh, customers, right? Because sales, they are voice of our customers. And I believe when we start Agile Transformation from sales, we automatically change whole organization because they, they have passion, they could sell their ideas uh, through the company, right? And they communicate with different departments, with product, the, uh, with logistic, financial, HR, everything. And in this case, they found people uh, in, uh, by themselves. They came to HR and uh, told, like, sorry, we are going to find people by ourselves because we need special values. And HR, she called me like, Marina, what we are going to do if they will uh, hire people by themselves? And I told her, you will think about culture, you will uh, think about Agile, and they will uh, uh, um, hire people by themselves because it's a self-organizing team. And when company change, when our salespeople change, they start communicate with our customers in different way. You know, it, they imagine when boring uh, salesperson try to sell you something, just push you something, or call and try to sell. Or happy person who call you and ask, how are you today? What, uh, what we could improve? We want to make you happy. And our customers feel it. And they come back and they uh, have s uh, secondary uh, sales. They, st uh, they start tell about this story to their uh, friends or something, right? And this is competitive advantage because in our world, it's very easy to copy your idea. It's very easy to copy your, I don't know, in, um, product, but it's very difficult to copy your culture. And I believe, that's why I believe that this is real competitive advantage. And I put all information about uh, this talk in, wa in one uh, slide, and you could write me and I will send you a um, uh, guide for your sales.
and just give them this information. Just share these insights with them. And um, maybe you will change your company after this conference. I, I believe that you have a lot of great ideas. And it's great when you put these ideas and share with not only sales, with in other departments. And you, let's change the world. Thank you so much. <laughs> OK, I always say. Thank, Thank you. you.